questions I get from first time home buyers or 10th time home buyers is what is due diligence? If you've bought a home before, you often forget by the time you buy your next house. So I personally like to refer to due diligence as your oh shit period. It's that point of time, whether it's three days, 10 days, um, where you can change your mind for any reason. You can wake up one day and decide you wanna to move to Timbuktu instead and terminate and get your earnest money back. But it's also that inspection period. So that's when we're gonna call a inspector, get him in there and he's gonna do a full workup of the house so that we can see anything that may be wrong with the house or anything we need to know about before you move forward with your purchase. And there's other things too that you have to include too, like if they might need a pool inspection, they might need a sewer inspection, yeah. they might need a roof inspection. Yeah. Turbine, they radar. Might need a, that due diligence period, you have to get all of that accomplished in whatever number of days are in the purchase and sale agreement. And yeah. it's a good time for buyers to talk with their lender and make sure they're comfortable with their overall monthly payment. You know, George is one of the few states too, I don't know how many of them there are there, but there's not a lot of them, but George is one of the few states where if you terminate during your due diligence period, for any reason simply change your mind you can get your earnest money back there's a lot of states where you pay for due diligence and if you terminate in that period your due diligence money goes to the seller Georgia's one of the few remaining states where you can terminate with no cause there's states without due diligence at all Iowa doesn't have any due diligence yeah so that's great for the buyers as a agent who also works with sellers if you're a seller, you want to make sure that that buyer's due diligence is not a long, long time because you definitely don't want to take your house off the market for two weeks or maybe even more only for them to decide that they found a house they like better and now you miss, you know, the height of the market. Yeah, yeah. true. So what does it all cost to have all these inspections? That sounds like a lot of, a lot of money. Well, it depends on how many you need but the, the, the minimum cost you're probably looking at is somewhere around $500 if that's just a home inspection. But if you need a pool, sewer, survey, then you know you get into thousands of dollars. So yeah. you, know, you wanna make sure that you are a serious buyer before you enter into a due diligence period and put your name on a contract. Yeah, do you yeah. guys have inspectors you can recommend? Yeah, actually uh, an awesome thing about our favorite inspection company is that they include that termite inspection at no additional cost. So even if your lender's not requiring it or the homeowner already has a termite bond, you're still gonna get that free termite inspection with our preferred inspector, um, which to me is an extra added benefit to paying for that inspection. Yeah, and it's pretty quick too with the inspections. Like most time it's 24, 48 hours and then you get that report back sometimes that same night if it's done in the morning, but if not, then the next morning for sure, so it's quick. Yeah. But your due diligence period is the time for your real estate agent to negotiate any repairs that the seller is willing to do. If you do have a report and there are th there's always going to be something on the inspection report. Even on a brand new house. I mean, I expect pages of things, even on a brand new house. And so I always caution people not to freak out if there's three or four pages of things on that list, that's normal. That's the inspector doing his job. He checks every outlet, he checks every light bulb. Like he's very, very detailed. So once he does that, then you can either ask the seller to fix the things that are most important to you. I don't recommend putting the whole list on your request, but ask for the things that are important to you or even better yet, what we always recommend is to ask for money off of the sales price or for them to contribute to closing, closing costs. costs. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. that money for closing costs would help with, especially in the situation right now with interest rates on the rise, you could help out with some discount points. If you go through the whole inspector report and you put everything on there, the seller's just gonna tell you pound sand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're just gonna tell you, no, I'm not doing 700 things. <laughs> No, no, they won't. And in, it's it's too easy to forget that if they were to inspect your current home versus the home you were yeah. buying, what would you do if they inspected your current home and you got the same report? Yeah, that's a great way to put it. You, you got to be a little bit more reasonable than a lot right. of people. Right. I think a lot of people, especially first time home buyers, um, which is totally normal to get a little nervous about how much money they're about to spend. Um, and they think that the house has to be perfect when in reality, that's not. That's not a possibility. You know, in all the homes that we go in and out of, show me the perfect home. There's not, it doesn't I, exist. I, I would love to see it. It doesn't exist. It, 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 I probably go through a thousand homes a year, maybe. I don't even know how many we go more through. More than that. It yeah. might be more than that. Yeah, but, a big one. But show me the perfect home. I'd love yeah. to see it. A big one, too, is the new construction. A lot of people think they don't have to have it. 
And I would almost argue that you need it more because it's not those, it's not the builders actually doing the work. They're subcontracting all that stuff out. So you don't know really who's working on your new construction house. Right. Yeah. And these neighborhoods are building two, 300 homes all within a span of two years. They're gonna rush through some stuff, you know, and, and it's, it's important. New construction, you if you get under contract quick enough, you can even get a pre-drywall inspection, which in my opinion on new construction is almost more important than a pre-closing. It's the only time Bumps. in the life of your house that you'll be able to see all the electrical wiring, all the plumbing, and have an inspector look at that and make sure everything is installed correctly. Because if you don't do that, and then in a year or two years when your builder's warranty is expired, you've got a plumbing leak and you've got to pay someone to rip the drywall off and put it back on. Whereas you could have found that issue before. And the best thing with a, a new construction, and I always recommend like do the pre drywall and then do the pre, you know, right before you buy an inspection. You literally hand that inspection report to the builder and he fixes everything. Yeah. Like there's no real negotiation because if it if if it's not like to code or it's not done correctly, can't then sell it. they have to fix it. Yeah. yeah. I think that having due diligence as a buyer here in the state of Georgia gives buyers uh, an advantage that a lot of states don't offer, yeah. which is the opportunity to one do your inspections, ask for repairs or concessions, but also if you do have that wake up three days later and think, what did we do? You do have that security to know that you're gonna get your earnest money back. What questions do you have about real estate? Drop us a comment or shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a phone call, and we're gonna be answering all your questions throughout this video series. And there's some more videos that we've done too, so make sure to check out the playlist over here for any other questions that you may have.